It's a late, late show. It's a late, late show. It's a show that is late. And it continues to be late. It is a late show. It's a late, late show. Welcome to the Late Late Show. Thank you for being here. I'm going to level with you. It's the night before Thanksgiving. We're a little giddy. <laughs> a few people in here have had a couple of drinks. <laughs> when I say a few people, I mean a strong majority, including... <laughs> including although I just asked Gear, I said to Gear, I said, just over here, right before we started the show, I said, what are you drinking? And he said, you said, I couldn't, I didn't know if you were saying, he whiskey, said whiskey. Whiskey ginger. Yeah, whiskey ginger. And I was like, oh. And then he sent me a text like I disapproved. He sent me a text, I didn't understand it. He said, he said, what's the problem? Are we, are we not allowed to drink here anymore after Ernie's note? That's right, yeah. <laughs> I was concerned. Which I know Slightly. nothing, the first I've heard of any, oh. what's Ernie's note? There's a big Viacom CBS, uh, note that went out talking about drinking in the workplace and Ernie's duty bound to forward it to everybody on the staff and crew. You just had a drink with me. <laughs> <laughs> me it's the night before Thanksgiving. Me and Rob just had a tequila in my office. <laughs> Why didn't I get Ernie's note? Well, we, uh, you don't read those emails. <laughs> I was into my CBS email. Yeah, you only read what Never the lunch is. <laughs> so Ernie is saying... It's not Ernie saying it. No, I think it's Ernie. Let's make it... <laughs> let's make it Ernie for the purposes of this. Did... Pete, did you get this email from Ernie? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the prospect of Pete reading an email saying you can't drink at work is like saying you're not allowed to breathe within television cinema. <laughs> Let's have a look and see who's on the show tonight. He is one of our absolute favourite people we ever have on the show. 25 years ago, he was in Independence Day. He saved the human race from an alien invasion. <laughs> Do you remember that? Do you remember that? I feel like Jeff Goldblum doesn't get the credit he deserves. Like, none of us will be here. No, everyone's like, oh, the, the Fly is a great movie. I love his, I love his new show. But they're movies. Those are movies. Independence Day was a documentary. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's and, extraordinary what and, he did, and I feel like it's overlooked. It's, it's wild, and it goes double for Judd Hirsch. Yeah. 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 Judd Hirsch, unbelievable. Yeah. And I feel like if anyone gets the credit, it's Will Smith, but yeah. he was just sort of a young guy who didn't really... He didn't even know which way was forward and reverse, you know? <laughs> And we've completely abandoned Randy Quaid. Quaid. But I think a lot of that is to do with Randy Quaid. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I feel like we all appreciated what Randy did, and now uh, Randy Quaid is the Rudy Giuliani of actors. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> but we, I can't help but feel we've gone off topic. R <laughs> Which I know is rare for us on this show. We are... We're normally like a Swiss watch. We just... <laughs> you know, you know what you're gonna get every night. That's the truth of it. <laughs> it's not about you. It's not about me. It's not about you, Reg. It's not about the band. It's not about anybody else. It's about the heroic, the sublime. Jeff Goldblum is here tonight! Huh. There he is. How are you, Jeff? I'm uh, excellent, thank you. How are you? You look fantastic. I think the color of that suit is aubergine, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. It's got a little, it's got an eggplant feel to it. Yeah. It's not What's a happening debate. here, Jeff? What are you doing with the with the candle? Well, you look at you, you. I'm just opening what you gave me. You know. And by the way, can you see? Uh, can you see Emily Goldblum? My look, wife? there's Emily Goldblum. <laughs> David Cox, he, he does oh my, my God, the he whole does team my is hair in. and makeup. But look, the, but you gave me, you gave us this uh, this gift bag. Yeah. And this is a candle. I just saw it, and it says cannabis. Does that mean it's? Yeah, it's got cannabis. It's, it doesn't get you high, does it? Not as high as you want to be. No. <laughs> uh, uh, what are you talking about? That's not my scene, man. <laughs> Jeff Goldblum, everybody. <laughs> 
And she's a Golden Globe nominated actress you know from Outlander, Four vs. Ferrari, and her brilliant performance in the new critically acclaimed movie Belfast. The supremely talented Katrina Balfe is here tonight. Hello. Katrina. How are you? How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm very, very well. What are you drinking there, Katrina? What's um, you got there? Uh, you know, it's Mother's Night Out, so it's, um, it's a, a gin flavoured water. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Is, is that a problem with Ernie? Uh, um, I, I, you know, I think is it's Is that going to be an issue? She's excluded. <laughs> is he sure that's not going to be an issue with Ernie? She's not a Viacom CBS want... employee. She's OK. <laughs> Sorry. I don't want the fun police to come in here and start... <laughs> <laughs> ..shutting stuff down. <laughs> Ernie! <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Don't Ernie, come between Ernie, an Irish Rob woman Crabbe and her drink. Says she's excluded, but Rob <laughs> Crabb is also drunk. Katrina, thank you for being here. <laughs> Katrina Bell, everybody. <laughs> and she is a brilliant stand-up <laughs> comedian. <laughs> And the first woman ever to win the Juno Award for Best Canadian Comedy Album. We are so thrilled that she's here performing on The Late Late Show tonight. The wonderful Sophie Buddle is here to make you laugh, everybody. <laughs> Sophie, how are you? Hi, I'm good. Uh, could you tell the other guests that I'd be willing to sell them some drugs if they need anything? <laughs> well, do you know what? Your door connects right there to Jeff Goldblum's door. So, look, if you go in, if the camera goes in, if you knock on that door, the other door... No, go, no, back in your room. Camera, go in, turn around, <laughs> turn around. There you go. Look now, knock on that door that's behind you. No, I can't, I can't, okay. I can't, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Sophie Bunnell, everybody! <laughs> this is it, guys. The night of, obviously, tomorrow is Thanksgiving. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving, yeah? So, for anybody visiting family right now, that means you're probably watching this in your old childhood bedroom. <laughs> or you're watching it on a phone in the bathroom, hiding from your family. <laughs> we're going for it tomorrow. We're fully... I'm gonna, I'm gonna program... We're going all American tomorrow, no messing around. We're gonna have super soakers full of gravy. <laughs> we're absolutely going for it. What are you doing? What are you doing? What's Thanksgiving for you tomorrow, Reg? Uh, Montana. Yeah. Yep. Go to Great Falls, Montana. Great Falls are you, Doja Cat, your mum, just hanging out. As, as always. As per. <laughs> That's the tradition. Yep. What about you, Ian? What's happening in the Carmel household? Portland, Oregon, and it's going to be a gravy massacre. I can't yes. wait. <laughs> I'm putting it on everything this year. It's going on food that doesn't normally have gravy on it. Apple pie, pumpkin pie. Yeah. The water, splash of gravy. <laughs> I'm ready, dude. I've been real good food-wise for a real long time. I missed Thanksgiving last year on kind of the uh, ongoing COVID-19 epidemic. Mm -hmm. And this year, it's going to be a bloodbath. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, I imagine you're in the office on Thanksgiving, are you? <laughs> I imagine you'll be in here just, just dealing with sales. <laughs> no, I, I'm, uh, I'll be in, in upstate New York. Well, you fly tonight. After the show. Let's say, let's say yes. <laughs> let's say, let's say I'm... You got... <laughs> I don't know where I am with you. I don't know where I am with you. What do you mean? <laughs> well, when I say, oh, we're double taping a show, or, like, there's a repeat on Friday, I can... I don't even have to see you. I can feel your eyes rolling as I speak. <laughs> oh, God. I'm such a... This guy is such a prick. <laughs> I see, really it, I see it under the mask, and now I get in bed with you, and I'm like, oh, you're going to fly tonight? And you're like, well, no, because it's last week. <laughs> <laughs> but you have to admit, whenever I say, oh, we're doing, this isn't on TV right now, it's next week, you're, I literally see this. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and the one time I play your game, oh, you're flying tonight after the show, let's say yes. <laughs> Impossible. It's impossible. <laughs> it's impossible to know where you stand. <laughs> impossible to know where you stand. <laughs> I imagine your wife is just on a knife edge every day. <laughs> <laughs> Not knowing which Nick is coming home. <laughs> is it spiky Nick? 
or is it a Nick wearing a pair of her underwear on his face? <laughs> Too much? Too much? Little much. It's, ne it's <laughs> never enough, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Dave, what are you doing? What's Dave Pindak doing? I'm staying here, uh, going to a friend's house, but I have to cook the turkey, so there's a lot of pressure on. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, how'd you feel about it? I'm a, yeah, I'm a little nervous. I, what are you going to do? What are you, how are you going to do this? I think I'm just going to do like the traditional way to do it, I guess. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. Google it the night before, is the truth. <laughs> and figure out. I want to know my tip. Yeah. I'll give you my tip. How many, how big is the turkey? Like 12 pounds. So like a, it's a good turkey. Yeah. So you get like three quarters of a block of butter, soft, salt, pepper, grate a nutmeg. Okay. Zest of an orange, squish all that up. Separate the skin from the breast. Push that butter under the breast. Anything else, just get it all over the legs. Get it right in there. And here's the important thing. You've got to have that turkey on a trivet. OK? OK. Do you understand what I'm saying when I say yeah. a trivet? Yeah, yeah. Like a, like a rack, right? No, no, not a rack, Dave. We're not. <laughs> I want you to get shallots, red onion, celery, garlic, chop it all up, random carrots. Okay. That on the bottom of the dish. Rosemary, olive oil. Turkey lives on that. You've got to get the air underneath. That's the problem. Okay? Yeah. And then inside the turkey, lemon, rosemary, sage, herbs, everything. Get that fragrance to breathe within the bird. Yeah, yeah. Okay? <laughs> foil it yeah. for the three hours. Take the foil off for the last 45 minutes. But you've got to let that turkey stand for at least an hour. I'm serious. I know that sounds extreme. You've got to let that turkey stand for an hour. When you take it out of the oven, put it back in foil, put a, put a tea towel over the top just to hold it right in there. That bird will stay warm for a ni 90 minutes, right? And by the time you get there, all the juice has gone through. That juice goes back in your gravy. When you slice that, it is moist as this show, OK? <laughs> Do that. You honestly can't go wrong. You know, I, I've, I've, I've seen you jump out of a plane with Tom Cruise. I've watched you sing in a car with Adele, and I've never been more impressed than I am right now. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back with more of The Late Late Show. Oh.